That same year, Henry proudly watched his family grow by one with the birth of his son, Edsel Bryant Ford. And just months later, rewards of his diligent self-education and hard work showed in a promotion to chief engineer with double his previous salary. Now earning $100 a week, Henry funneled every spare penny towards his next obsession, building his first gasoline engine prototype using secondhand scraps. Fueled by months of frustration, on a dim, chilly night in early October, Henry erupted in triumphant cheers that rattled his tiny garage. His crude, hand-built contraption sputtered, then steadied into the unmistakable throaty hum of success. One explosion led to the next as Henry watched hypnotized, feeding and tweaking his beautiful creation. And in the wee hours of June 4th, 1896, 1.30 a.m. to be precise, Henry achieved his next milestone. Under cloak of darkness to avoid prying eyes, Henry wheeled out an odd bicycle-like contraption from his lab and pedaled furiously through the sooty Detroit dawn. Sandwiched between two rubber-wheeled metal cycles was a pulsating engine fueled by drops of gasoline. Clanking and bucking with each power stroke, Henry's experimental quadricycle represented four years of secret, relentless midnight trial and error. Though crude, bulky, and nearly uncontrollable, the quadricycle indeed moved by engine power alone, confirming Henry's core theory that a portable gas motor could propel a carriage lacking horses. When Henry had a chance meeting with Thomas Edison at the Illumination Company, he told the enterprising inventor about it. Edison encouraged Henry to keep going. Henry made several adjustments over the next year, including cooling the engine to prevent catastrophic overheating. In 1898, when a curious British industrialist offered to buy his history-making prototype for $200, Henry took the money to make a more improved version. 